Imagine a gender equal world. A world free of stereotypes, bias and discrimination. A world that is diverse, equitable and inclusive. A world where difference is valued and celebrated. Together, we can all forge women's equality. Hello and welcome to my channel today. Here's wishing a very, very happy Women's Day to all the women out there and also to the men who celebrate the women in their lives. Now today on this special occasion, I attended a beautiful event organized by Education New Zealand. So I attended the International Women of the Future Summit organized by Education New Zealand in associated with Indian government as well. So in that summit, I got to learn a lot and got motivated by valuable speakers and many scopes that we women do not get were discussed and encouragement was given through gifts and, you know, and internships, scholarships. So today I attended the summit, which was for about one and a half hours. At the beginning, the High Commission of New Zealand, David Pine, who is the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade of New Zealand, he spoke along with one Minister of uh, New Zealand, who is Indian by origin, Miss. Priyanka Radhakrishnan, who is the Minister of Diversity and Ethnic Communities of New Zealand, and Ms. Uh, Lisa Fuschek, who is the General Manager of Education New Zealand. Now, what they spoke about? They spoke about a woman who herself demotivates herself and, and she does not follow her dreams. She does not... Uh, go behind her dreams chasing her dreams because she has to look after a family she has to uh, maintain the maintain the norms of the society and thus she cuts out on her dreams but dear ladies we have to uh, break that stereotype thing the bias the discrimination between men and women uh, so that we can follow our dreams and break the bias and do and do follow our dreams whatever is our dream we must follow we must take some actions to fulfill that dream rather than thinking what others will think about you or the society will think about you uh, nextly there was a huge conversation between few people uh, among them there was Ms. Jugnu Roy and uh, Zena Jalil, they were uh, from the Board of Education New Zealand and then there was uh, Miss uh, C. Sheila Reddy, uh, the head of Delhi University. There was Enli Mori from Auckland University and there was Swati Popat uh, who was uh, the Polar Education Network. He, she, is the, uh, she is the head of the Polar Education Network of New Zealand. So these were the speakers and they gave immensely motivational uh, talks about what the Indian uh, society uh, girls and women face, uh, how they are from the very childhood taught that uh, they are not to dream big, they have to look after their family and uh, Mostly that's why 90% of women, even if they take uh, science and maths in their uh, boards, they tend to go to the arts field ultimately and the boys are the section that goes to the science field. But Miss Sheila Reddy of Delhi University also stated that according to statistics, 50 per, uh, during the last 50 years, women have made immense progress in India as well. Well, that's very good news for Indian women. And um, after that, uh, they also told that most of the um, 
uh, Indian women tend to uh, opt for school teacher jobs. School teacher jobs, why? Because it's comfortable, it's a safe job according to Indian society. By doing a school teaching job, you can maintain your family, you can uh, take care of your family, also you can give time to your family as well and you can also see that it's a very safe uh, profession where you don't have to mix with men uh, very much and according to statistics, Indians, uh, there are in India, there are 90% of the teachers are females. So, and when a child is uh, told to draw a picture of an engineer or an architect they tend generally they tend to draw a picture of a man rather than a woman so from the very basic level the discrimination begins even when we gift a toy to a boy or a girl when we gift a boy we give them cars or guns and when we are gifting a girl we tend to give them kitchen uh, sets or uh, or dolls to play with so from the very basic level the discrimination actually begins so we have to stop that and we women have to empower each other we have to complement each other and encourage each other to grow together we have to lift up other women as well as women we this is our prior responsibility to uh, upgrade the lives of other women as well and not only thinking about you of course we have to think about our dreams and our fulfillments of our dreams but we have to take along the society the other women of the society along with us next, uh, next lead the speakers were the two mountaineering twins Tashi Malik and Nungshi Malik they are twins from India and they got a New Zealand sports scholarship and they studied it and they have made great achievements in mountaineering they have uh, climbed the top of various mountains and uh, achieved great uh, records so by these motivational talks the twins also said that they never imagined in their lives when they were studying in school that they would climb a mountain ever but the opportunity came and they grabbed it and with the support of course of their father they have achieved great results so whenever an opportunity comes to you you should not waste it you should have you have to grab it and you have to go for it unless you make an action there will be no result you your dreams will be fulfilled if you take actions towards it right you, the results won't come in one day or just one second but you have to take up every opportunity every opportunity must be grabbed okay uh, and you have to follow your dreams you do not have to think uh, the discrimination of the society what the society will think of you the society will not feed you you have to feed yourself and you have to be confident you have to show the world that women are no less nextly the speaker was miss malini agarwal famously known as uh, miss malini and uh, she is the founder most famous digital influencer in india she also to told the story uh, behind her success how she had to break various barriers to be in this position today Firstly, she wanted to be a VJ, a video jockey, and then she got a, a job at the back office. And after that, she was called for an audition for RJ, and she grabbed it. And there she got fame. And later on in life, uh, she started blogging, which she had never imagined, but that gave her immense success. So you have to follow your dreams, and you have to grab every opportunity that comes along your way okay and lastly the education new zealand uh, announced various internships scholarships that we indian students could get or the students of new zealand could get or the indian students of new zealand could get through their uh, institutions uh, through their institutions so various uh, packages were announced and they were really really great and it was a great experience uh, and a very motivational experience by, by attending this summit I got to learn a lot lastly the speakers were Ben Burroughs and Ryan Gomes they were all from the University of Auckland and 
board members of education new zealand so the whole session was just great so motivational and so encouraging and by this note i want to address to the women out there women of india women all around the world deprived of uh, their rights of equality we have to fight against it we still have to fight against it we say that we have made immense progress we have become so modern but still women have to fight for their position in the society so to all the lovely ladies out there uh, just wishing a happy women's day will not make you happy for your life you have to make yourself happy for the life so grab every opportunity that comes in your way and just bang on it and just follow your dreams don't let yourself just be bound in one room and one box you have to reach out you have to make actions towards your dream you have to you have to explore yourself what are your hidden talents you have to explore yourself you have to just uh, be what you want to be do what you want to do without thinking of the society norms the society is not going to take care of you and of course you have to take care of your health the health of the women is very very deprived around the whole world but women must take care of the health because they take care they are better organizers as they are mother figures they they can organize works family everything together so they have to take care of their health and if they are not well their family will not be taken care of their dreams will be unfulfilled so ladies please take care of yourselves make good health of yourself for the sake of your family for the sake of your dreams you have to have to be healthy you have to eat well work out sleep well sleep is also a very important thing in our health in our fitness because if we are deprived of sleep we will not be able to work properly we will not be encouraged we will not be uh, able to put attention to any kind of work right and also take care of our family so by doing that we are capable of doing everything we can do if we wish to do and we if we think that we will have to do so here's wishing a very very happy women's day to all the lovely women out there today i just got a very very great experience by attending the women of the future summit new zealand and thus i wish great health great being uh, and uh, a great great best of luck to all the women out there in fulfilling their dreams in fulfilling their their wish of life Bye.